There it is. Oh, you'd be good if I got my phone ready. Okay. Ugh. Let me make sure I'm in the frame, because I feel like sometimes I'm not in the frame. Hey, Jean. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm in frame. I'm actually sitting and making emotes right now. I was writing a few minutes ago. Also, I feel like not talking loud enough because my mic is really far over that way. I apologize, it's chips. Okay, there we go. How are you doing today, Jean? I think I have like an entire set of emotes ready for Jason. I just have to draw them out. I'm glad you're excited to see this. I am too, to be honest. Um, it's been good. I got up this morning, had some breakfast, and now we're here. I did a bit of writing, and then I uh, am sitting and drawing emotes, which is really nice because I can just sit and and draw uh, sometimes so it's really good um, I usually wait about five minutes in the beginning of streams to talk and chat with y'all um, and to make sure that obviously my internet doesn't just decide to womp out on itself um, so that's kind of why I wait about five minutes um, I, I, I prefer to sit and chat with you guys and just have a screen up right at the moment I am working on that screen uh, and it's actually based on this game. That's a sad comic. That where'd it go? I don't think it was that far. No, I can't. I, there it is. Let me make sure I'm actually looking at this. It's it's based on Dongon Rumpa. You know, you have Monokuma here and over here. Both of it is different equal sides. And then I have Ultimate Achievement Hunter, Ultimate Zombie Hunter, Ultimate Snack Monster. Now I'm not the ultimate in anything. Hey, Alex. And so I was just like, oh, here's, I don't want to show you guys on that. That's actual comic. And then a bunch of emotes that I'm working on. So I'm really excited to play this. Let me throw this back up. Okay. This is the end, guys. This is the end of the game. I don't know how much time, like, I don't say time, how much we have more left. I kind of know where we're at, if I'm remembering correctly, but I don't know, but I'm really anxious. How you doing, Alex? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes. Continue. My nose. Okay, so put that over there. And we are officially in the game. In the game! Oh my god, I'm so excited. So we, we last left off where we're leaving Kyoko in there. 
because she found out about her dad. Uh, if anybody's new to the stream, just so you know, this is spoilers. We are getting to the end of the game. So I just want everybody to know that before I start talking any more about what's happened or anything like that, if you want to go in blind. Um, just a heads up. Heads up. Right? See, that's the, that's, and that's the great thing, Jean, is that because I like doing episodes, so it's kind of like a TV show. Like, I'm, you know, you're really excited to watch this next episode because I left y'all on a cliffhanger, and that's what I want, and that's what I love, is that everyone comes back ready to see what's, what's going to happen next. I love it. I love that concept. Oh, no. You have a headache from the, the sun? Oh, those are the worst. I'm sorry, Alex. That's horrible. Drink some water. If you have a Gatorade, drink that. Uh, get a cool wet rag. Wipe it all over your face and keep it around your neck or your head. Um, and then uh, find a nice cold place, even if it's your bathroom floor, and like basically lay down. And like make sure it's all dark and cool and stuff like that. It'll help. I suffer from headaches a lot. And that's why I keep my room like 40 degrees. It's like a penguin habitat in here. Aw, thank you, Jean. Okay, where did we last technically? We left her there, and we talked. Okay, so we have to leave. So, this was this room. Now we need to go to the bio lab. Eye of Raw. Because uh, we got... All the doors are unlocked now. Apparently, unless you're wanting to go to the girl's bathroom for any particular reason. Wait, was this door locked? Did we go in here? I think we went in here. I, th I swear we, w we came in here. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what we, we did last week. We got the e-textbook. Yeah. The e-freaking textbook of where I was reading and my throat was like getting my throat was legitimately getting raw because I was reading so much and my allergies are kicking my butt but uh god the music to this game is good okay okay Okay, we don't want to do that. I'm tempted to go back to that locker room, but we'll go back there in a second. Yeah, we because we did get another book, so maybe we should go back up there while that's on the uh, the mind. Actually, let's go back up there really quick. I just don't feel like the great thing about fast travel. I think it was this room because it's a giraffe with that. Because I thought everybody's lockers... Okay, so it's the ones that look nice. I'm not going to read this because, dear God, I keep reading this. Nope, lock. There's a card reader. There must be some locker. After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your e to ban it. So does that mean? Well, let's just give it a try. I took out my... Don't use yours! Wait, but what? There it is! Okay. What about the emergency handbook I found in the headmaster's hidden room? Okay, let's give it one more try. <gasps> Ooh, chat. Alright, let me physically do it then. I took the emergency handbook and ran that across the card reader and... Beep. <gasps> Just what I was hoping for. <laughs> so fucking excited. <laughs> you haven't seen the other streams? Okay. So, what it basically is, Alex, is that we're in a school, um, one, all the streams are up on Twitch except the very first one. The very first one you can find on Twitch, or on YouTube. Okay, so the reason why I have that, just really quick to go on, is that YouTube is being a little bitch about, um, yes, I did whisper that, uh, <laughs> about the last video that we did about the class trial, um, because uh, the LLC in Japan is basically thinking it's the TV show 
when it's not the actual game. Because there was obviously two different things that we did, and they're still thinking it's the TV show, which is really stupid. So it's completely blocked worldwide. Uh, but it's not on Twitch. So I put all the videos up on Twitch except for the very first one, which you can find on YouTube. It is a bit of a hassle, but I wanted you guys to all to have that series, and I didn't want you guys to miss it. So if it gets blocked on YouTube, I will put it over on Twitch, so that way we get all of it. Because it, it, it sucks that YouTube is being like that, and doesn't actually help you. But say lovey, we can't do anything about it. Um, so that's 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 what I went with, and I just want to let you guys know that if you guys want to watch it. But other than that, this game is basically you and a bunch of other people are stuck in this school, and there's only two ways out of this school. You can either live in peace forever, or you can uh, murder somebody. And if you get away with the murder, you get to be set free. But if the others find out you were the murderer, then you die, and everybody else gets to live. But if you get to, if you um, are the black and then you get away with everything, then you survive and you get to leave and everybody else dies. That's basically just what it is. And now, right now, we're trying to find out who the mastermind behind all of this is. So that's basically where we're at. Makoto. Now let's see what we've got inside. I don't see anything that might be a clue. Freaking super, dude. Do we have to go through that? Okay, no, we just take the emergency handbook out. I'm not gonna read that. I already read it. I don't see anything that might be a clue. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Nope. One of these lockers has to have a clue. Oh? Ooh! This thing is practically empty. There's just one thing, some kind of pocketbook. I don't see a name written on it, so I can't say for sure who it is. But there's some writing inside that could be important. I don't like violating the owner's privacy. Makoto, we don't have time for this, but I'd better take a look. It looks like a girl's handwriting, and all the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote them was measuring them. Whoever wrote this must have been really meticulous. Huh? I was flipping through the pocketbook, but my hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written there. Words I'd heard before. There's a plan to turn Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolate the students here in a communal life. I decided to talk to one who came up with the plan directly. It just so happens to be the headmaster and my father. He was willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. Here's what he said. The point is to keep our student prodigy safe, to keep them as our hope for the future. <gasps> Guys, y'all, only their genius can overcome disaster and only their hope can overcome despair. Well, super, there's like four of us left. We must isolate our superior youth from the corrupted world to serve as a foundation for a new era. This is the only hope we have. I hope you'll be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. This can't be true, can it? But I knew it was, and I knew exactly who the pocketbook belonged to. Kyoko. It couldn't be anyone else. But if this belongs to Kyoko, what was it doing in this locker? And was she? And what she wrote here completely contradicts what she already told me. She said she hasn't seen her father since he left when she was little. Again, she lost her memory, you dum-dum. I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan directly. It just so happens to be the headmaster and my father. Unless he had another daughter. What does this all mean? I quickly scanned the remaining pages of the notebook. I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong about this whole thing. But when I reached the last page, the question mark spinning through my mind just started spinning that much faster. When I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writing here was messy, disorganized, and scrawled. What is this? What does it mean? I have no idea. How could this possibly make any sense? 
Despair walks among us, and so we survive. There's a second despair. What does that mean, chat? I'm gonna check the other lockers just to be sure that there's like nothing else there. Okay, nothing there. Oh, there's something up. What? There's something in here. Hey, oh. This is Hero's locker. Done. I hate Hero. This locker is totally disorganized. Whoever it belongs to probably has organization problems in every part of their life. It's Hero Chat. It's Hero Chat. This is a crystal ball. A crystal ball? No, it can't be. There's no way he ever used this locker. It's just not possible. There's all kinds of textbooks and notebooks stacked up in no particular order. And dust everywhere. I have to assume whoever stuffed this is... Didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I can really talk. I'm trying to act as casual and natural as possible. I picked up one of the notebooks I saw. But the moment I looked inside the notebook... Any sense of easiness I may have had evaporated. It says hero! What? There was no denying what I saw. Inside the notebook was written Yoshihiro Hagakura. Kure. I'm 90% sure I said that wrong. Darkling's not here to correct me, so. Makoto, is this our hero? How many people do you know that's hero? The notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes. That's my, uh, which would mean he attended classes here? No, this can't be possible. I mean, Hero came to this school at the same time as the rest of us, and we were all sucked into this evil world. We never had the chance to take any classes. So what is this notebook? And it doesn't look like we can do anything else. Okay, what's that? Is this a deck of playing cards? No, they're tarot cards. But wait, aren't those used for telling fortunes? It's just a co coincidence, right? Huh, joke's on you. But the more I see, the less sense it makes. Because these lockers, I mean, they had to belong to the previous students, right? So why am I saying this? Why are these things in the lockers that look like they belong to people here? A notebook that seems like it belongs to Hiro? And a pocketbook that seems like it belongs to Kyoko? There has to be some kind of explanation. But if I want to find that out, I have to keep moving the investigation forward. And I have to believe in everyone. <gasps> Ooh! It's gonna get good. Those are all broken, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, okay, so we checked the lockers. Okay. We found two clues. So we have to go to the bio lab. Which, by the way, can we just fast travel there? Because I don't know where it's at. Uh, no, we want to go to the third floor. Third floor. Fifth floor is cool, too. Biolab, okay. Uh, pull up, okay. Well, here I am in the bio lab. Uh, I hope the sound is good, because I feel like I'm yelling, but... Makoto, it's so cold! It's like, abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a great, a great, a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so cold? Oh my god, chat. This is where they keep the dead bodies. I have a gut feeling we're gonna find someone's dead body here. Sound seems fine? Okay, cool beers. I just wanted to make sure because the game is louder in my ears than it is, uh, I know, for y'all. So I just want to make sure that I'm just not, like, screaming at you guys. Um, so, yes, my thing where that was actually Junko's body, that could have been a thing. Could have been a thing because, seriously... This is where the dead bodies live. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. 
That's where dead bodies live. I've seen something like this before. And that's it. I've seen the kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. Hey, it's a refrigerator for storing dead bodies. Does that mean the biolab is actually a morgue? It is now.